I'm Greg Tepper. That's Greg Powers. And this is This Week in Cruton. It's This Week in Recruiting with Greg Powers of Next Level Athlete. Follow him on Twitter at G Power Scout. Follow Next Level Athlete on Twitter at Next Level D1. See his fine work at TexasFootball.com slash recruiting. And this, of course, brought to you by our good chicken friends at Chicken Express. Chicken Express. It's chicken in the express lane. No. That's not a no. that's not a real no. tag. I'm sorry, it's Chicken Express. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're about to like ask for their money back. Like, You're gonna ah, ruin this sponsorship I'm for gonna, us. I know. <laughs> it's <laughs> delicious chicken and chicken strips. It yeah, actually tenders. Well, I think chicken the, tenders. Like, sometimes the best like tagline is just to like, describe what they serve. It's yeah. like if you like good chicken and good biscuits and rolls and like. Okay, this is why you. The this is why we're slices, not in marketing. <laughs> then, then go to Chicken Express and eat their food. <laughs> Neither of you should be in marketing. This so is real we, bad. <laughs> this, this is great though because we actually had Chicken Express in the offices two days ago. We catered in a lunch for everybody from Chicken Express, and Damn. one thing. Why don't we get that around here? One thing that I didn't really appreciate as much as I think that I should have. Actually, two things that I really liked, and you talked about these pickle before. The corn nuggets, I never really no. had tried. I never really had tried them. Underrated. So we had the corn nuggets, and they were excellent. And the mini poppers. I mean, if you're a poppers fan, yeah. little jalapeno poppers are pretty good too. Okay. Yeah, all we get is everyone else going to lunch, and Tepper and I be I know. doing the show, I know. <laughs> so we never get lunch. Mm. Well, that's what you guys get for booking a show during lunch. Yeah, Greg. Greg. <laughs> uh, it's this weekend recruiting with Greg Powers, the next level athlete. Uh, got a lot to get to here on as far as news and notes across the recruiting landscape. We are going to start with our prospect on the rise. Our prospect on the rise uh, to Southern Denton County we go to Flower Mound High School to talk about their 2022 quarterback, Nick Evers. Uh, looks the part, 6'3", 190 pounds. Uh, m- February is my wife's favorite month. Oh. It might be turning into Nick Evers' favorite month. It has to be. Because he had a... <laughs> Huge month of February. It's technically not over yet. He could he could add some lists, but here are the offers he added this year, okay? <clears throat> or this month, rather. Houston, Cincinnati, UTSA, Tulsa, Florida, Penn State, North Texas, Virginia Tech, FIU, Minnesota, Louisville, Vanderbilt, and Iowa. So he adds 13 <laughs> offers in the month of February so far. He already had a few offers before that. Uh yeah, Nick Evers uh having a pretty good uh pretty good month. I think by my count he's up to 17 FBS level offers. He has a few more offers than that, so maybe over the 20 offer plateau total. Mm-hmm. But man, February was really kind to Nick Evers and justifiably so. I mean, he put up pretty good statistics. 202 of 299 is a pretty good completion percentage. I didn't do the math on that, but I know it's high. Um 2591 yards and 25 touchdowns. Uh, he, he has the look of a gunslinger type of quarterback, makes plays on the move, um, throws from different arm angles, works the middle of the field pretty well. And uh, as he gets stronger and develops in the weight room, you'll start to see his arm strength also pick up. And I think that's what these colleges see in, in him is a high ceiling for potential at the position. Um, 2021 was the strongest year of the quarterback in recruiting history in Texas, Mm -hmm. um, without a doubt. I mean, I think – I don't remember what the final number was, but it was well over 30 FBS signal callers that signed. And this year's not as deep, and Evers is in that top grouping of guys, and that's why you're starting to see him uh, explode with scholarship offers. And he really just kind of got his chance to get on the scene last year. was his first year playing, uh, leading – that varsity team so um you know he's starting to now he has the tape for colleges to evaluate and he's been looking pretty good in some of the off-season showcases and seven on sevens he passes the eyeball test and it has the tape to back it up let me just do that math for you uh 202 of 299 passing is uh 67 and a half percent pretty good that is uh pretty solid there for nick evers there uh he's in a pretty tough district too yeah that too it's not getting any any off weeks there Uh, Let's go to our Commit of the Week. We mentioned this on Monday in headlines, uh, but we are talking about our Commit of the Week going to Frisco, staying in the DFW Metroplex, but we're going east a little bit, to Frisco. Talk about 2022 wide receiver Evan Stewart from Frisco Liberty, who has pulled the trigger. He is heading to Texas, had offers from all over the place, including A&M, Georgia, LSU, Oklahoma, 
Alabama, etc. Um, this is a dynamic athlete, I think it's fair to say, that uh, that the Texas Longhorns are getting in Evan Stewart. And they are on fire mm -hmm. in recruiting right now. I mean, Texas and Texas A&M both are hot on the recruiting uh, trail right now, and I think it's pretty cool because I like to see – these two do battle for not only the top recruits in the state of Texas, but which school is going to have the top class this year. The commitment of Evan Stewart pushed Texas into the top five nationally on uh, the 247 Sports Composite recruiting rankings. rankings. Um, and is a perfect complement. They've got Armani Winfield, who is that mm -hmm. long. You know, Armani Winfield's listed at 6'1", but he plays like he's 6'3", 6'4", because he's so long and lean and has such a great catch radius. And Evan Stewart is that burner at six foot, uh, 5'11", six foot in that 170, 175 pound range, who has uh, – he's hell on wheels, I guess, is the best mm -hmm. way to explain it. Um, super fast, very athletic, uh, and really, Frisco Liberty had a great season this year, uh, pushing into the playoffs and, you know, having a strong run. And they've had some good talent on that team, but Evan Stewart's like the – the cream of the crop in the city of Frisco. So he's the, the, maybe the best player in one of the deepest cities for talent. Yeah. Um, and he's going to get natural comparisons, I think, to Marvin Mims, you know, because he's the guy who, um, you know, he's Mr. Texas Football Player of the Year and everybody, you know, na national record holder at wide receiver. And that's just a name that everybody there knows. And Evan Stewart kind of resembles him on the field in a lot of ways because of his speed and size. Um, so I think that he'll draw some comparisons to that, and it's justifiable, which yeah, he, says all you need to know. Yeah, most certainly. No wonder he's a, he's a DCT, a four-star at Texas football. And a cheat code for our listeners, specifically here. Mm -hmm. We haven't officially released the DCTF top 50 of all the four stars, but if you're listening to this show, if you go to <laughs> texasfootball.com slash recruiting, you can see that top 50 right now. Wow. There could Pending changes, we'll release it at the beginning of next week officially, but if you ever wanted a sneak peek, you could go ahead and slide over there and see it. I need, it. like, a bump that's, like, Powers cheat code. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, why we, uh, that's, why, that's why you listen to the show. It's to have uh, little insights like that, little nuggets like that. We're talking with Greg Powers, the next level athlete here on Texas football today. Get involved in the conversation, hashtag TF today. Let's move on to our underclassman of the week. Our underclassman of the week, we're going to the Houston area to 2023 Langham Creek wide receiver Jaquez Petaway. Uh, the wide receiver there in the Cypher ISD uh, picked up big-time offers this week uh, all over the place, including Big 12, Baylor in Texas, including uh, Big 10, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Oklahoma in that mix as well, Big 10, Penn State, uh, as well as the Pac-12 at the USC. He also got an offer from Marshall. He already had offers from places like Arkansas, Oklahoma State, Houston, etc., uh, this was a guy who went for over a thousand yards as a so as a uh, as a uh, as, let's see that would be as a sophomore. Uh, this is a guy in Jaquay's Petaway down there in the Houston area that I know uh, you have pretty high praise for. Yeah, definitely. He's been on the radar for quite some time. I think. I mean, I would like to pull the magazine out to double verify, but I'm almost certain that he was a top 25 freshman back in the 2019 mm -hmm. edition of DCTF Rising. So he's a guy that's been on the radar for a while. Now down there, and now he's starting to make not only uh, strides on the football field where you saw his stats of going up for over 1,000 yards, being the district newcomer of the year, uh, but you're starting to see now the offers come in to resemble what his talent is on the field. And he's one of these guys that, you know, 5'11", um, 165, 170 pounds probably, who shouldn't maybe be pigeonholed necessarily into the offensive side of the ball because he's got the skill set to maybe flip over and play defense. He's listed as a wide receiver, put up monster numbers there. So I don't want to mm -hmm. unfairly say, oh, well, this guy should be – I'm not saying that. He's a great offensive player, and his offers and notices coming in on that side of the ball, it appears. But he has the skills and talent uh, to play anywhere he wants. And I think that's why colleges are, are hot on him right now. And he's only going to get better. We talked about Evan Stewart uh, – you know, committing to Texas, this is the same type of guy. You know, very similar on the field, makes guys miss in the open field and has a lot of the skill sets that you're looking for at, at the wide receiver position. But I still, I mean, gosh, I mean, guys like him with that mm -hmm. with that frame, they make a lot of money on defense in the NFL. So let's keep our eye on that too. Yeah, most certainly. A guy named Jaquay's Petaway down there at Langham Creek. Keep an eye on him. Finally, let's round it out with our Recruit of the Week. Our Recruit of the Week stay in the Houston area. Going to go to Galena Park North Shore, 
uh, a program that has uh, they have talent there. No stranger to putting out FBS <laughs> recruits. <laughs> Who would have thought? Uh, and uh, the the guy that everybody's got their eye on this year is Denver Harris. Their 2022, their uh, junior, soon to be senior defensive back, a uh, true corner there. Uh, he has uh, uh, offers from all over the place. He has narrowed it down to five: Texas. I'm sorry, to four: Texas, A&M. Alabama and LSU are the four remaining standing there uh, for Denver Harris. Um, it's fair to say he's the number four. He was uh, he's, he's in our top 50. He's in the top uh, 50. He's uh, uh, is it fair to say he's in the top 10? He's in the top 10. OK, uh, Denver Harris Nuggets. is a guy who is uh, uh, pretty electrifying and a guy that everybody wants to get their hands on. Well, I think everybody right now has him rated as a five star. He checks in as our number four prospect. And you can see that top 10 right now uh, at texasfootball.com slash recruiting. We released that top official top 10 list. He was number four on it, and that means he's slated right now to be a five-star. Mm -hmm. We've only named two five-star prospects so far. That's the, the number one player right now in the class is South Lake Carroll quarterback Quinn Ewers, and number two right behind him is Summer Creek offensive tackle Kelvin Banks. Those are the first two guys to pick up five-star status, um, but I don't think Denver Harris is going to be too much further behind them for being named that. I think he's probably a lock. He draws a lot of comparisons to guys like uh, – you know, former top prospects in, in Texas like Jeffrey Akuda, mm -hmm. Tony Brown. Uh, he's he's very much in that mold. And we see here again, Texas and Texas A&M. It seems like every top prospect that's releasing these lists have a common denominator on them. And it's one of those two schools and many times both of them. And Denver Harris is one of those guys who has everybody playing the guessing game because Alabama is definitely going to be a factor for a North Shore top player I mean they've been signing players from North Shore here most recently Damian George the big offensive tackle had committed there um, in this last cycle sorry two cycles ago and then um, they just have a, a, a foothold mm -hmm. there um, but North Shore sends guys everywhere and he can play anywhere he wants he had all the offers across really the entire country Denver Harris did and now he's concentrating on the two elite in-state schools as most people mm -hmm. see them most years at least the two most elite recruiting schools sure. in Texas, Alabama and LSU, so the last two national champions. So it's a pretty good list for Denver yeah. Harris. And, and to be honest, this is a guy who has everybody guessing. There aren't a lot of strong takes out there right now on where he will wind up. I never discount Alabama when it comes to a top-rated defensive back if they're in the top list because Nick Saban takes such special care – uh, that's the position that he, mm -hmm. he specializes in. So I always factor that into my consideration when thinking about where a top-rated defensive back will go. Um, but certainly Texas and Texas A&M have a lot of momentum right now, especially in state. It's going to be very interesting to watch the recruitment of Denver Harris there at Galena Park North Shore. It's always interesting to talk with Greg Powers. This is my favorite Alabama. part of the show always. I always when wait I, to see. <laughs> how, how, do I, how do I spin it into a, into a compliment for you? Uh, of course, uh, follow him on Twitter at G Power Scout. Follow Next Level Athlete on Twitter at Next Level Z1. See his fine work at TexasFootball.com slash recruiting and uh, Powers. We'll do this again next week, right, Pickle? Yes. Okay. Pickle says we'll do it again next week, so let's do it again next week. See you all then.